Hello, card floppers. Welcome to One Pack Frenzy, where we open one pack of trading cards. And it is weirdly Wednesday for the moment. So we're going to go into something very weird. Uh, back in 2002, Humalians, the collectible card game. Challenge. That is literally the first, that's the name of the first set, Challenge. I think this was like the only set, so that tells you anything. Uh, as you can tell, it is very uh, early 2000s art. Uh, Humalians is, I don't know if it says on here, life forms from across the universe struggle to reach the mythical planet, ha! Okay. Where ancient power and knowledge may save them from the threat of the robot invaders, and hopefully from an even greater menace that lays just beyond their senses and understanding. So they claim. Uh, yeah, it, this is a faction-based card game. You have a faction you build your deck for uh, humans, aliens, robots, um, beasts, and um, uh, Scrappy Doo, I guess. I don't know. I was kind of glanced over the rules because apparently there's not really rules. It's just like a rule, a rule sheet that explains everything. There's no actual rule. So we're just going to go in here and uh, look at some weird art from back in the day. All right, starting off with Sabertron. Um, I think I saw them in concert once. Um, I think 130 is the EP cost because the, the, there's like two ways to win. You either have get 500 energy points EP, or all your characters become super beings. Um, oh, I think that might be um, attack. Well, we'll find out when we look at some characters here. Uh, anyway, technology. Enhancement technology. This Humalian gains defense minus 10 DP all. So, all their defense is minus. React. When this Humalian is targeted with a DP attack, discard Sabertron to reduce that attack by 200 DP to minimum zero. So, as you do. Surge and grind. Hey, buddy, got a surge and grind. Okay, this is an actual, you know, be one from the Beast faction. I, yeah. I'm thinking this is their 70s, their EP. Um, this is their health, I believe. I don't want to be the defense, and this is, yeah. This is probably health. Uh, attack. Roll one die. You roll a D10 in this game for attack. So the roll is 60 plus. Yeah, again, it's a D10, but... You know, if you roll a 6 or higher, essentially. Roll another die. If the roll is 60+, plus, continue so that our roll is all... Re die result is less than 60. Inflict damage points equal to the total of all rolls resulting in 60 damage. 60+. plus. React. When an opponent's card requires you to discard cards, reduce the number of cards being discarded by 2, minimum 0. If this human humanian is leader, reduce the number of discards by 4. Thanks, Surge, or Grind, or which one ever you are. Amp is uh, 50. Robot, attack, roll one die, inflict DP equal to result. Attack, roll DP equal to Amp's current EP times 3. I think, yeah, I think this is EP, actually, so, yeah. Uh, so I don't know what DP, uh, damage points, are defense points are, um, so... I think it might be, because like I said, it didn't, it didn't really say in the overview. It's like, oh, this box explains attack and defense, and we're moving on. Thanks. Um, anyway, if hook damage points equal to Amp's current EP times three and discard one Link, if Amp can't discard a Link, he's knocked out. Well, thanks for that. Katra. Uh, <clears throat> when Mom says we have Pikachu at home. Uh, he's 80 points, enhancement, pet, which I think is, uh, an acronym for something, extra, uh, portable extraterrestrial, weird one. Um, react when this human alien attacks, deal 300, di um, D, uh, DP, damage points, uh, when this human alien, when this React when this human alien attacks. 
Roll one die. There's a roll of 50 plus. Inflict 70 damage points. Classic. He's human. In his way. Uh, 80 points. That's his EP scale. Attack. Roll one die. If the result is 50 plus, inflict 80 damage points. Attack. Roll one die. If the result is 60 plus, roll another die. If the result is 60 plus, continue rolling dice until the dice result is less than 60. Wasn't that goddamn surgeon gland, surgeon grind? Yeah, that was our first ability. Can't be classic if it's the first set, dude. Uh, inflict damage points equals the total of all rolls, resulting in 60+. plus. Justice! It is ethics. It's kind of like spells. Um, 60 points. React. When attacking, inflict 30 damage points to opponent's leader. As you do. Oh! There are foils. Huh. I, I, it's a rare foil, too. Prism of Change. That is wild. I mean, yeah, you can only see it when you do it like this. But, I mean, that's... That's a... That is... That is actually some kind of cool foil right there. I like that. That, uh... The foil job lends into the space theme. So, points for that. I mean, at the very least, points for that. It is technology... Order. Reveal a Humalian from your hand. Increase the EP of this Humali Humalian to match the EP of the revealed Humalian. Discard the Prism of Change and the revealed Humalian. I can see why this game didn't catch on. You have to see... You, mm, unless you're really good at talking. Humalian... Good, mm, it kind of gets you after a while. Zrex. With some... Bad heartburn going on there. Are you came? Are you came in, dude? You got? Uh, you need some tums? Need some rollades? Rollade spell relief, my dude. Uh, 100 points. Beast. Resistance 50 plus. I guess anything under 50 doesn't hit him. Uh, animal human. Wow. Parents must have had a fun night. Uh, attack. Roll one die for each technology linked to opponent to opponent leader. Minimum one die. And total results. Inflict DP equal to total. Ignoring technology cards on target. Attack. If Zerix has at least 140 EP, target any opponent frontliner and roll 1D. Roll and die. If the result is 60 plus, knock out target frontliner. Oof. Nanara. Um. Yeah, I got nothing on that one. Um. I going to say um, Nebula before MCU, but, I mean, Nebula kind of existed in Marvel Comics before 2003, so, anyway, 120 pit points, 120 points, Alien, attack, inflict 80, di uh, 80 damage points, direct, roll one die, if the result is 50 plus, add the result to this attack, damn, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll do a quick little rundown. Nothing else. You know, weird shit. Um, that's actually pretty, <clears throat> I will say that is actually pretty good. That's probably the first edition sign right there. Because, <laughs> yeah, they were going to be printing other editions of this game. Um, that's a pretty good ability. Right off, that is a damn nasty ability. Um, honestly, he would be good to have for your opening. Because you start off with three creatures. You know, beast, alien, human, uh, robot, whatever. Uh, I think, because I think each one has its own faction, each one has its own faction symbol, because I think that's alien, because, yeah, we got he or she's alien, obviously. Uh, beast, human, I think that's all I got, because that's a beast. Uh, yeah. So, but uh, this one would be pretty good to have as your um, starter. So, because it's got resistance to, you know, resistance to 50. Like I said, which I assume is just anything under 50 doesn't hit him. Um, uh, yeah, if he's boosted enough, you can just knock out someone. So, that is pretty good. Um, it's shiny. 
<laughs> it's shiny. That's about all I can really say about it. I mean, it's not bad. You know. Because, yeah, the EP is this up here. That's what they start out with. Um, so, yeah, boost. That's pretty good. It's good. Like I said, it's a good foil job, at least. Um, that's na that's pretty nasty. Just, like, when you attack, deal 30 extra. Um, actually, that would combo well with Zarex. Because if you're attacking the opponent leader, you can deal an additional 30, uh, 30 damage to him. Bada bing, bada boom's day. There you go. Um, he's alright. Like I said, him having the same ability as, um, what, Shuck and Jive here? Uh, Surge and Grind. <laughs> it's close. Uh, yeah, but I mean, if you're playing human, then he works out. If you're playing beast, he doesn't work out. Uh, but yeah, he's, it's pretty decent. I, w I wouldn't have him as an opener. I'd probably put him, like, later on, but, um, Uh, enhancements, I didn't explain, but you can attach them to characters, so, that, they're additional things. Um, so, that's a pretty good pet to have. Kind of reminds me of that, um, oh, what was that one? Comic Jumper. The guy who had the star on his chest, and the star was a snarky bastard. Uh... That was a fun game, though. That was a fun-ass game. I don't really do bullet hells that much, but that was a good bullet hell game. Uh, Amp. Oh, yeah, he's a robot. Um, it's not bad. But, I mean, you gotta have a link on him, otherwise... He ain't shit. Uh, which, I think a link is like any enhancement. So, if he's got... Katra, then he's fine. If he don't got Katra... You don't want to use that attack. I, th I think you might have... I think it's like Pokemon. I think you have a choice in the matter. Um, <clears throat> this one's pretty good. Like I said, the, the first attack's good. The second one... Would be kind of a sideboard type situation. I mean, if your opponent's using discard things, then he's good. If not, you know, just his first ability. Um... That's actually kind of sneaky. I mean, yeah, it lo you know drops its damage pool, I guess. Uh, defense pool, something like that. But if someone attacks, you can actually just like take no damage and then, you know, actually get your defense back. All right, uh, my MVP... Is it going to be Zarex? I said, this is, this is some art. This is early 2000s art. Uh, that was a fun time if you were there. Uh, in any case, yeah. I mean, he's just badass all around. So, in any case, that is Humalian on this Weirdly Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow. Have a weirdly, uh, have a weirdly wonderful day.